Okay, um, guys, um, so the image you I want to show you right now, or that you're viewing right now, um, is the image of uh, what we call the subinguinal structures or subinguinal space of bogos. What I mean by bogos there, the spelling is B-O-G-R-O-S, subinguinal space of bogos. Now, uh, the first of all, before I show you that, let me quickly show you something. Now, this is the anterior superior iliac spine, and this is the pubic tubercle here. Okay, now, you can see that there is a structure passing from the superior iliac spine to the uh, pubic tobacco. This structure is called the inguinal ligament. So the inguinal ligament the transcend, uh, move from the anterior superior iliac spine, span from the anterior superior iliac spine down to the uh, pubic tobacco. Now, the in sub inguinal space of bogus is located deep to the inguinal ligament and is formed as the inguinal ligament move from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tobacco. Now, all these structures here, you see all, all this place, all the parts deep to the inguinal ligament is this uh, subinguinal uh, space of bogus. Now, it serves as a very uh, essential uh, gateway that links the abdominal pelvic structures. Okay, let me clean this before we start having uh, this place. Mercy. Uh, okay, so um, it, it serves as a passageway that links the abdominal pelvic structures. Okay, the abdominal pelvic structures, uh, or uh, the, the ab or let's say linking the abdominal pelvic cavity to the lower limb. Okay, so uh, it is divided into two spaces. This subinguinal space of Bogus is divided into two. We have a muscular lacunae and a vascular lacunae. So it is divided into two by what we call the iliopectineal arc. This structure here is called the iliopectineal arc. Okay, the iliopectineal arc, as you can see over here, okay, divides the space into a muscular lacunae and a vascular uh, lacunae. Now, uh, 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 the iliopectineal arc is a thickening, is a thickening of the iliosua fascia, the iliosua fascia. Okay, which passes between the deep surface of the inguinal ligament and the iliopubic eminence. I, I don't want you to bother with the statement I just made now. Just uh, let me run across the different aspect of the uh, this uh, space. First of all, we have the muscular lacunae. The muscular lacunae gives a passageway for the iliosuous muscle. Okay, the iliosuous muscle. The femoral nerve, you can see the femoral nerve there, the femoral nerve, okay, uh, uh, into the anterior type, okay. So we we'll say that it is lateral, it is lateral, the muscular uh, uh, lacunae is lateral to the iliopectineal arc. Then the vascular lacunae, which is here, okay, is, it gives passageway for uh, the, uh, uh, the veins, the artery and the, the lymphatic. So we can see here, if we can see the lymphatics here, you can see the vein here, you can see the artery here. But you can see that the iliopectineal arc is dividing this muscular lacunae from the vascular lacunae. Okay, so um, uh, uh, it is medial, of course. This uh, is medial to uh, the uh, iliopectineal. Uh, uh, arc. Now, there's another thing that is important right here. If you notice, there is a triangle. Let me clean this up. Okay, there is a triangle here from here to this place that we are going to call the femoral triangle. 
the femoral triangle is a triangular area inferior to the inguinal ligament when the thigh is flexed, abducted ABD, and laterally rotated. It is visible when it is flexed, okay, abducted and laterally rotated. So that's where you see this triangle here. So it is a triangular depression at the inferior inferior to the inguinal ligament. This is the inguinal ligament here. So this triangle is inferior to the inguinal uh, ligament. Now, of course, it has boundaries. Okay, the superior boundary, you expect the superior boundary to be formed. Okay, uh, let me clean this up. Okay, so you expect the superior boundary to be formed by the inguinal ligament itself. Okay, the inguinal ligament, I want you to know, okay, the inguinal ligament, I have not said it, the inguinal ligament is actually a thickening of the inferior margin of the external oblique aponeurosis. Okay, that is a muscle of the abdomen. Okay, now, medially, medially, the femoral triangle is bounded by the adductor longus. This muscle here, you can see the label here, the adductor longus. Laterally, it is bounded uh, by the sartorius where the lateral border of the sartorius crosses the medial border of the adductor uh, 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 longus. So we can say laterally, this is the sartorius. You can see the labeling there. Okay, that's the sartorius there. Okay, now the floor of this triangle is formed by the iliopsoas muscle. Okay, laterally and the pectineus muscle. So iliopsoas muscle laterally and the pectineus muscle medially okay so sorry uh i keep using this red ink okay so um let's return this okay so uh the why the roof of this triangle is formed by the facial latter and the cribiform fascia the cribiform fascia and of course you also expect the subcutaneous tissue and the skin to also form uh the uh, roof. Now, what are the contents of this triangle? The content of this triangle is the femoral nerve and its branches. The femoral nerve and its branches. The femoral sheet and its content. I want to take that again. The femoral nerve and its branches. The femoral sheet. Now, look at this. We have the femoral nerve there, which is this nerve here. Then we now have something that looks like a sheet here. You can see it looks like a bag just here. Okay? It looks like a bag just here. So let's clean all this up. Okay, let's clean all this. We already see the boundaries of the triangle. Now I want you to take note of this. The uh, femoral sheet. The femoral sheet is the bag that you can see inside this place. Okay? Now... Uh, what is exactly what exactly is the femoral sheet? The femoral sheet is uh, it, it looks like a bag uh, or it looks like a funnel. It's a funnel shaped facial tube formed by an inferior prolongation. There's a muscle in the abdomen called the transversalis uh, 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 transversalis fascia um, muscle covered by the transversalis fascia. So the the the, the the femoral sheet is an inferior prolongation of the transversalis fascia and the iliosoas fascia. So l let's not talk much about that. It, 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 it actually passes deep into the inguinal ligament lining the vascular lacunae of the subinguinal space. So we can say that the uh, this femoral sheet is found in the vascular lacunae of the uh, 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 of, uh, uh, of the subinguinal space of bogus. Actually, this tunnel is about three to four, or three to, I think three to five centimeter. So, and it actually terminates inferiorly by blending with the adventitia of the femoral vessel. Okay, so it, it encloses proximal part of the femoral vessels and creates the femoral canal, which is medial to them. However, it does not enclose. I want you to take note. It does not enclose the femoral nerve because the femoral nerve is found in the muscular lacunae. Okay, now what is the function of the femoral sheet? The femoral sheet allows the femoral artery and vein to glide deep 
to the inguinal ligament during movement of the hip joint. So when it is longer than necessary, its medial wall is pierced by the great saphenous vein and of course the lymphatic vessels. But I don't want you to bother yourself with this knowledge. Just know that the femoral sheet is actually important so that the femoral artery and vein can glide deep to the inguinal ligament during a, a, a movement. Now, the, the, the femoral sheet is divided into three. Okay, let's clean this up. The femoral sheet is divided into three. You can see, let me give us uh, this, it's divided into three. We have a lateral part. We have a lateral part, an intermediate part, and a medial part. So it's divided into three, okay? So the lateral part contains the femoral artery. The intermediate part contains the femoral vein, while the medial part contains the femoral canal. So you can see the subinguinal space of Bogus contains is divided into two: the muscular lacunae and the vascular lacunae. Now, in the vascular lacunae, we have what we call the femoral sheet, which is also a content of the femoral triangle. The femoral sheet is now divided into three. We have a lateral part or compartment, we have an intermediate compartment, and we have a lateral compartment. The lateral, com the media, co the, the sorry, the lateral compartment has the femoral artery. The intermediate compartment has the femoral vein, while the media compartment has the femoral canal. Now, what is the femoral canal? Now, I want you to let's clean this up again. You can see it's getting more complicated, but it's not complicated by the time you uh, uh, pick it up one by one. Now, the femoral canal is located here. The femoral canal, this is the femoral canal. You can see the labeling here. The femoral canal is a conical structure. As you can see, it goes down there. It's a conical structure that is found okay, between the medial part of the femoral sheet and the femoral vein. You can see the femoral vein here. So it's found between the medial aspect of the femoral sheet and the femoral uh, vein. Let me clean this up again so that I'll be able to show you. So we'll say that it is found between the medial aspect of the femoral sheet and the femoral uh, 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 vein. It is actually the, 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 the smallest, it is the smallest of the compartments in the sheet. So it extends distally uh, to the level of the proximal edge of the saphenous opening. So I don't want you to bother yourself with this. Now, what is the function of this canal? The function of this canal is that it, 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 it helps, it, it permits the expansion of the femoral vein when there is increase in venous return or increase in intra-abdominal pressure. That's funny, isn't it? Even though the vein is not found in this canal, but the canal is actually necessary because the vein can actually expand. So it's like creating a room, it's like creating a room for someone in another compound so that when you expand, you, you, you will be able to, you know, you will be free rather than, you know, being in the same place. So it's the, that's what the femoral nerve, uh, femoral uh, uh, vein has been able to uh, uh, accomplish. So the base of the femoral canal is formed by the femoral ring. That's another statement you might come across in your text. The base of the femoral triangle, look at the femoral ring here. So, look at the femoral ring here. So, the base of the base of this, uh, 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 of uh, the femoral canal is formed by the femoral ring. Now, let's talk about the femoral ring again. So, this is the femoral ring here that we want to talk about. The femoral ring here. Okay, so the, the femoral ring is um it's uh, 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 okay um it's actually bounded laterally by uh the uh vertical septum between the femoral canal and the femoral vein uh, posteriorly it is bounded by the superior ramus of the pubis uh, covered by the pectineus and its fascia of course then medially it is bounded by the lacuna uh, uh ligament of course uh, and then anteriorly it is bounded by the medial part of uh, uh, the medial, you know, you expect the medial aspect. This is the lateral aspect of the 
uh, inguinal ligament. So the medial aspect of the lingual inguinal ligament, okay, forms the anterior boundary of the femoral ring. What are the contents of the femoral ring? The femoral ring contains uh, loose connective tissue, fat, lymphatic vessels, uh, and sometimes the deep inguinal lymph nodes, what we call the uh, uh, cloquet node or low node of cloquet. Okay, node of okay, it's even there. The labeling is there. Node of cloquet, cloquet node. Okay, so um, that is the uh, that is the sort of inguinal space uh, of a uh, uh, bogus. Um, yes.